So Grand Central Terminal, it's one of the most beautiful buildings in New York City, um, especially since they restored it. The, the ceiling is wonderful, just the, the grandeur of the space and the, these giant chambers and the way people move within it, it just feels well designed and human, but also massive and monumental. But yeah, I haven't tried to draw here that often because I don't know how to process the scale of it. You know what I liked about it is that we're in the middle of winter, it's the dead of winter, it's snowing outside and we were able to be out in the world still sketching. And you almost, there's so much natural light and, and yes. it's so big you don't really feel like you're indoors even. We got out two iPads. It was uh, an iPad mini and a regular iPad. And uh, we sketched using our little uh, pencil, uh, Bluetooth enabled uh, styluses. Um, Thank you for giving me the bigger iPad, by the way. <laughs> was, um, and better one, you say. Um, but it, it was very new to me. I had sketched on my phone a little bit and I found it so frustrating because of the size. So having a larger screen was, was really nice for me. Um, I feel like to really get comfortable drawing on any screen, I need some more time. With the physical materials, you get a resistance um, from the, the paper, but also from the tool you're drawing with, and the, those kind of messiness of the being able to smudge or spill or have the sp splatter and drip and all of those things that I missed on, on the iPad. On the other hand, it was so clean. When you're done, you can just stick it back in your bag and you haven't put anything, you haven't made a mess on the floor, your hands are clean. Um, which I'm not used to. It, so a lot of people came by to watch us as we were drawing, yeah. and you go to a crowded place and you do something unusual, it's gonna happen. I, I kind of like it, I mean, especially the ones who are respectful. My favorite is when it's other artists, even if they work in very different styles or mediums, I feel like there's a common understanding. Um, my least favorite are the people who are just like, oh, you're so talented, I could never do that. The sort of apologists for yes. drawing is hard, and. Yeah, that, that's not so interesting to me. You know, at first when I drew, I really didn't like when people saw me draw. But for some reason, just like um, hearing my voice on tape or seeing my face on the video, I don't mind at all now. Okay. I, I don't care at all. Yeah. In fact, it does not bother me. And when people watch what I'm doing, they could like breathe down my neck for an hour. I really don't mind. And usually they do give really nice feedback. Somebody blocks my view if loud things happen, mm -hmm. if I get splashed with water. It's okay, it's, you're out in public on purpose, and if you want a perfect controlled environment, don't do that. That chaotic environment somehow feeds the drawing that I'm making, e even in intangible ways, and, and I like that. Jason, you came up with something totally different than I did. And that's always the best thing about sketching with someone else. Is you, yeah. You're looking, theoretically looking at the same thing, but you draw something so different. Mm -hmm.